Yay, Cruise Gear is in the house doing something new today. We are live showing you everything that qualifies as basically toiletries for our cruise, but we've included some gear as well. Thank you all so much for jumping in the live chat. I realize that today is a work day for most of us. I do have the day off today, so we're doing something a little bit different. Rather than doing this on Easter or Easter weekend when we know everybody has plans, this was the time that we felt worked the best. So I hope everyone is doing great. I have my computer here at our other set, and I'm gonna do my best to answer your questions in the chat as we reveal all of the items that we have um, kind of queued up for our trip. I'm not going to be packing them in my suitcase today, but if you would like to see me do that, join us on our other channel, Cruise Tips TV, youtube.com forward slash Cruise Tips TV, where we will pack everything into our suitcases and talk more about the clothing. Um, one thing that is missing today that you, you will not see is I don't have our sodas out here or our wine if, we're, if we take wine. Everything else though that's non-clothing for the most part is probably going to be featured today. We're not gonna go into a lot of depth on cosmetics because I will actually be doing, showing you what's in my cosmetic bags in depth when I do a get ready with me on the ship right here on this channel. It will not be live, it will be recorded, but we're gonna do a get ready with me for formal night and we're gonna do a get ready with me for a shore day. So two very different makeup routines, makeup and hair routines, but we'll do our best to record those for you and show you the depth of the makeup later because that would just take forever and I wanna focus more on toiletries and gear today. So I'm gonna go ahead and say hello to everybody. Really good turnout, I would say. What do you think, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? Good turnout for a, um, for a live stream on a Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So if anybody has any questions, you can shoot them to us at any time. And Mr. Cruise Tips TV is going to monitor the questions. And if you can keep them related to the gear, great. If you have general cruise questions, we'll try to get to those, but we're gonna prioritize questions about the gear. So I'd like to start today with showing you guys um, what I'm going to be packing in my backpack. So that'll be my carry-on backpack that I take. Now, a lot of the other stuff will go in varying places. Some of this will go in my embarkation day bag, some will go in my big suitcases. So we're not so much talking about where we're packing it, we're just talking about what we're packing. But first and foremost, what goes in my backpack is going to be my passport case. This is a travel-on uh, passport case that goes around my neck. It has a wonderful little zipper pouch on the back where I keep my dollar bills for tipping. The other things that I keep in here would be a small pad of sticky notes and a pen. So actually I have two pens in here because it's always nice to have those when you're doing customs forms or when you're filling out your health questionnaire. When you board the ship, it's really nice to use your own pen. So sometimes I go a little cruise nerd, put this around my neck on embarkation day and um, you know, I have everything ready to go when I walk up to the counter to get all registered. So this is the first thing that's going to be going in my backpack. I'm gonna put some of this stuff on the ground when we're done. The second thing that's going to be going in my backpack is my lip sense because lip sense is kind of temperature sensitive. So I keep this lipstick with me at all times and this will be in my backpack. And I will also take my medication bag. We hope that we won't need any of the medication in this bag, of course, but it's it's here. So any questions, Mr. Cruise Tips TV coming in yet? We're at everyone's service today. So let's talk about what's in the medication bag. Do you guys wanna know the specifics? Cause that's what today is all about. Getting down into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what's in here. I may not show you everything because it might be too much, but I'll, I'll show you some of the things. So right here I have um, some itch stopping cream like hydrocortisone in case we get a burn or a cut and we have like a rash or something these itch preventers are great I have some cough drops I have pain medication for my son like fever reducer ibuprofen and a chewable tablet I have a travel size of my own um, Advil that I will um, take along and I'm sure I'll need it I always get headaches and things like that on cruises I have an antibiotic ointment which is like a neosporin type product I have band-aids and other first aid type items and this bag always just stays packed and then I have a Ziploc bag which is full of a variety of different types of cold medications and allergy medications which we hope we will not need any of so other than the cough drops and my son's allergy medication that's pretty much what's in our medication bag and this just stays packed all the time between cruises in fact wherever we travel I just grab this and take it with me I like to keep this in my backpack in the event that we needed it on our pre-cruise stay or something like that. So 
Thank you for the compliment. I know my top is wild, Halsey. It is actually a dress. You guys know I always will stand up and show you what I'm wearing. This is a LuLaRoe Debbie. It is extremely wild, and hopefully I haven't just messed up the focus. Did I mess up the focus, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? Um, it's really wild, but I wanted to wear some color today and have some fun, so you guys are getting <laughs> <laughs> the new, brand new Wild Debbie dress. I just got it from my wonderful LuLaRoe distributor, Val Redfern. If anybody's interested in her contact information, I can put it in the comments afterwards. So thank you. All right, any other questions, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? Looking good. Okay, so we're talking about the backpack still. This, by the way, is the backpack. I have linked to this backpack below in the description box. So if anybody's interested, this is a water-resistant Oryx and travel size backpack. It is full of great little pouches and compartments. It has very soft straps, and I am going to be using this again. This went with us on our Panama Canal voyage, and I was very happy with it. So this, my friends, is the backpack that a lot of this stuff is getting stuffed into. So next up in the backpack will be my little media kit. Now this, I call it my media kit, but I don't really know why. Really what it is is mostly accessories for my phone. So I will um, take out some of the items. So I have my little charging cubes, right, for the iPhone. I have the cables that go with those charging cubes. I have this awesome new ring light for my phone, which is really, really cool. You just, um, turn it on and you can get a little extra light when you're taking a selfie on your phone. It clips to the phone just like that. So this is really nice. I need to use it more. I haven't been good about using it, but hopefully, oh, and it has adjustable brightness. Check that out. I'll be using it a little bit more. So that's gonna go in here. And then I have headphones for my iPhone and I have some little portable chargers. And I think that's pretty much it. I can see that I have a cable in here for my son's Samsung education device that he has, but this little pouch, is another thing that always stays packed in between cruises. And I take it when I'm traveling for business. So if I'm going to stay in a hotel for a few nights for business, I will grab this, take it with me, and it's wonderful. I just leave it by the front door of my house, or back door of my house, whatever, garage door, so that I can grab and go. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going in the backpack. I may have my cosmetics in there as well. I would like to show you um, some of the new items that I've purchased for this cruise today. I haven't really bought much new stuff because as you guys know, like I posted the other day on social media, I'm kind of a broken record when it comes to all of my gear for cruises. I just like what I like. I keep everything packed and I don't buy much new stuff in between cruises. I buy a lot of clothes, but really with the toiletries and things, I leave everything in the same bags because why spend the money, right? But I did splurge on a few things that I wanna share with you and I have links for all of them that I'm about to show you in the comments below, which is really unusual for me. I tried very hard to get the links organized before this because I, everyone always asks me, where did you get that? And I want to try to show you. So the first thing I'm obsessed with you guys is is my new cosmetics bag. This is a Sonia Keshuk from Target and it is linked below. It has double zipper and this is where all of my makeup is going to go. Isn't this gorgeous? It has kind of a water resistant finish on it and it, when I got it, it said it was Giada De Laurentiis style of some sort. So I'm really thrilled that I was able to purchase this at Target.com. It is linked below. And check out the matching ah, roll up brush bag. Isn't this gorgeous? I do not have my brushes in it yet because I'm using my makeup every day and I haven't moved everything over to my new little goodie, but you can see the inside of this. It still has the tissue in it, unfortunately. Sorry about that. This is the inside of the brush bag. Isn't this so pretty? So excited about this. I've had my eye on this. I would go to Target. I would look at them and there were probably $30 for the two items combined. So I was a little reluctant because as you guys know, we do cruise on a budget. I, you know, we spend a lot of money on this hobby of ours actually going on the cruises and doing the shore excursions cost a lot of money, so we have to be careful. But anyway, those are some new items. Now I want to show you a few other things that I had got on Amazon. My husband actually surprised me with a little Amazon gift card, and he's like, I really want you to buy some things that make you happy and that are fun. And I was like, okay, I want some eyeshadow palettes. And these are still available, and they're linked below. Um, this is the um, Smashbox Full Exposure New Palette that I'm taking on this cruise, and I will open it up and show you how gorgeous it is. This one's a little bit of neutrals and a little bit of nighttime kind of glitter, and these are the colors that are in this one. I know it's a little difficult to see because I'm not super close to the camera, but it has, um, I believe it has eight shades in it. The top is all shimmer, and the bottom is matte, and this is the Smashbox Full Exposure linked below. Gorgeous, right? Okay, now wait until you see the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. I am so obsessed with this, you guys. First of all, hello, 
Hello, hello, beautiful makeup palette. Isn't this so pretty? I think I'm going on and on a little bit too much in this live stream. Are you guys getting a little bit bored? No, everyone's happy? Okay. All right, here it goes. I'm gonna open this up for you and I'll try to shield the mirror because I know that that's always an issue. Look at this palette. It is so incredibly beautiful, you guys. It's like a palette for mermaids. I'm thrilled and it's still available on Amazon. So if you're interested in it, you've got shades called Dream, Mystic, Fairy, Trance, Marvel, Wings, Magic, Myth, Pixie, and Crystal. And they're all just really beautiful. They are a little glittery for the most part. There's a few neutrals in there, very few. There's actually only one um, matte color. Everything else is pretty glittery, but I'm gonna have some fun with eyeshadow on Carnival Splendor next month. Really thrilled about this. So this is the Complete Compact. It is way bigger, way bigger than I thought it was going to be when I saw it on Amazon. I was shocked. It's called the Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. And I'm not really sure about the cheek part. I don't, I'm not gonna be putting any blue shimmer on my cheeks, but this is going to be going into my makeup bag. So I am so excited about these little beauties. So I'm gonna put this stuff aside that I've already shown you, but again, Sonia Kashuk at Target. And they also have these in kind of a pink paint swirl instead of this blue turquoise -y. Look. How's everybody doing, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? Any questions coming in? Yeah, a couple of them. Okay, sounds good. I see Ed Paws said, what about towels? You pack your own for the beach and excursion, how much? Ah, Ed, that's a really great question. We don't pack our own towels. I might be previewing a towel from a brand that I love on this next cruise, so if I do review it or preview it, I'll take it with me, but normally, no, I do not waste the, um, the space in my suitcase. I see Livy saying, do you have any makeup products for a 12-year-old girl that can't wear more than a little concealer in some lip gloss? Livy, absolutely. Yeah, are you okay, Mr. Cruz? No, me? I don't want you to miss Ed's follow-up, or second oh. question. Oh, the love boat? How much love boat do I have to wear? <laughs> Ed, you must be going on a princess cruise. They do play Love Boat in the room. You don't have to watch much no, Love you Boat. you have to watch it. What's they that? force you to watch it. It will force you to watch Love Boat. No, you don't have to watch any Love Boat if you don't want to, but it is kind of fun before a cruise. So Livy, um, for your daughter, um, for, the, for the, the concealer and the lip gloss, what I love for concealer is actually a drugstore product, and it's the Neutrogena Concealer Stick. It's actually not called a concealer. It's actually called like a... I can't remember what it is, but I'll try to find it for you and I'll link it in the comments, not the description after this. But Livy, it's a really nice um, stick. It's a roll-up stick and that would be good for her. As far as gloss is concerned, I would probably just get her something that she likes, maybe at Target or something. You don't have to spend too much money. But as far as brands go, let's see if our audience can weigh in here on what lip gloss brands they might like. I think that's really sweet though that you let her wear a little bit of concealer and gloss just to kind of intro into the world of makeup without looking too grown up. I really respect that and I really appreciate that. Um, let's see if we have any other questions. You know what, let's get to a couple that have been there for a while. Sure. From Elisa Garcia, do we lock our check-in luggage when we check in? Elisa, we do not lock our check-in luggage when we check in. I know that some people do, but I'm not sure that you should. Okay, Kelly wants to know how much makeup fits in the makeup bag. Kelly, I will pick it back up for you and show you um, the actual dimensions of the inside of the bag because it is currently empty. So I can give you a good idea right now of how much fits inside. Okay, so using my LaCroix as scale, here is about the size of it. It is pretty small, but it has two pretty good pouches. So I would say if you have a separate brush bag, you're gonna be okay, but you're gonna probably want a separate brush bag and maybe even a pencil case. Um, I might, I, my stuff will probably fit in here because I don't have a ton. But now that you mention it, I'm a little concerned that that new Tarte palette may not fit in here. We'll see, but if it doesn't, I do have tons and tons of other cosmetic bags. Hope that that answers your question. Kelly, um, let me know if you need more clarification. Okay, yes, Sheena, let me show you the inside of the makeup bags a little bit more, I'm so sorry, I just saw your question. Okay, here you go. How's that, Mr. Crucifix TV, can you see it? Okay, there you go. And again, for dimension, here's my LaCroix. It's not huge. If you need a bigger makeup bag, I get it. I might actually need a bigger makeup bag too now that I'm thinking about my palettes. Okay, great. Let's see. Yeah, Shanna, I love the packaging of that palette. It is so incredibly beautiful. Shelly, any suggestions for a nice affordable wrap or shawl? You need to wear one for a formal night. My suggestion to you is to go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross and just look at the shawls there. We're a little bit out of season for shawls, so it can be a little bit challenging, but those places may have a few in the, um, in the scarf department. 
If you have a difficult time finding one, go on to Macy's.com and search for a nice neutral colored wrap. I would go with either black, tan, or cream or something like that, okay? I have two, two quick ones for Yep, you. ready. Sarah Garrett. Sarah. Where is the ring light from? Mm. And Bonnie Lee, this is actually the same thing. Mm -hmm. So how do you get to your cruise gear um, store? Okay, great. So the first question is, where is the ring light from? It is from Amazon. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, did you put the ring light in the, in the Amazon store? I think it's in there. We'll check for you and make sure that it's in there. But to get to our Amazon store where a lot of these products live, um, you would go to Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. And we are an Amazon affiliate, which means we make a little commission off of every purchase that you make there, but you do not pay more. It is a wonderful way to support cruise tips TV because this is almost exclusively how we replenish our equipment and we really do appreciate it. So tell your friends you're cruising with to shop there if they're shopping on Amazon because you're not paying any more money. In fact, anything that you buy there, if you just start in the shop, um, if you start your shopping in our shop and you add things from outside the shop, we still get an affiliate commission. So thank you for your support. Know that it is there and we have some great ideas. We can also add things to the shop. We, uh, people give us suggestions all the time about what's good to add in the shop. Okay, um, Pamela, how many pairs of shoes do I normally pack on a seven day cruise? Three or four normally. I would, get, I would take flip flops, two pairs for evening and maybe a pair of sneakers, that type of thing. Okay, all right. Claire said, we're going on NCL getaway. Can we leave our carry-ons at the room or outside the room when you arrive? Short answer, Claire, as long as you can get into the hallways where your rooms are, yes. I've never been on getaway and I'm not sure Norwegian's policy on that, but if you can get to your room, yes, you can. And actually we do it sometimes. Even if our room's not ready, we'll sneak the bags in the room and then leave and leave our um, bags there. Okay, let's jump into the next little bit because I'm sure that people who are watching this on the replay are going to want to know. Jamie, yes, you can take LaCroix on some cruises. Norwegian doesn't allow any beverages, but Carnival allows cans, not bottles. Princess allows cans. So it kind of depends. You need to check the policy, the beverage policy on your cruise line before you make any decisions on what type of stuff to take, okay? All right. I'm just checking here to see what else we have. I think we're gonna jump back into it. Okay guys, toiletries are the big reason that we did this live stream today. Because what has happened is that over time, everyone has said to me, I wanna see your toiletry bag. I want to see everything in your toiletry bag. So let's start with everything. Um, the first thing that we take in the toiletry department is we take a full size hand wash because I do not like bar soap on a cruise. The way that I will handle this is I have, I have re-sealed the pump, so you turn, it. this is a Bath and Body Works um, antibacterial wash or whatever, by the way. You can actually re-close this thing so that it's gonna be less of an issue in your bag. And then what you do is you wrap it in Glad Press and Seal or put it in a Ziploc bag to make sure. Another huge disclaimer, guys, we are driving to port, we are not flying. You would never wanna take this on an airplane, it's too big. And I have to give that disclaimer for this whole live stream. This is a driving to port cruise, so liquids are not a consideration. If you're flying, you need to take into account the TSA 311 rule, okay? Uh, Kathy, thank you so much for the super chat. You are so kind, we really appreciate that. Next up, guys, my sunscreen that I buy at Costco, CVS, or Target is Wet Skin Kids. We use this for the whole entire family. Of course, I would prefer not to use sprays if I could, but this is what keeps us from burning. I am the most sensitive skin person you'll ever meet. I burn in 10 minutes. I love this stuff. So this is Neutrogena Wet Skin Kids, and it is in our shop. My son loves this stick for his face. He hates putting sunscreen on, but the Wet Skin Kids facial stick is a really good one. So this is our sun care for now. I will be adding more sun care to this, guys. It's just that for right now, this is what I wanna show you because I haven't decided what brands I'm taking. Denisha, thank you so much for the super chat. You're so precious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Elisa, do I want? Do you wanna pack drinks in a separate carry-on per person or you can put in one? Put them in one carry-on, no need to separate. Okay, all right, Sydney, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna get the disinfectant question for you right now, actually. All right, let's talk about disinfectants, guys. See this giant canister right here of Clorox Healthcare Hydrogen Peroxide? This is one of the only products on the market that kills norovirus. Will I be packing this giant thing on my cruise? Heck no. What I'm going to do 
is open it up and take out maybe 10 or 20 of the wipes inside and I'm going to put them in a plastic bag right before I cruise and I'm gonna wipe down my cabin with this. Clorox wipes are great, the normal ones that you buy, but they do not kill norovirus. This stuff does, it is in our shop. So this is one of the types of wipes that I will be using, okay? All right, let's go into the toiletry bag and then I'll get into the extras because I take a lot of toiletries, you guys. Okay, this is my toiletry bag. I do not have a link to this. It is ancient. It is an Adrian Vitadini um, toiletry bag that I got at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, one of those places years ago, and I have a million toiletry bags that I've been sent for review, and I like all of them, but I tend to gravitate back towards this one for the most part. So I will be using this one, and I will tell you everything that is in it, okay? I'm not gonna open it, but I'm gonna tell you what's in it. So in the top, top section here, I have Q-tips, earplugs, chapstick, a shaving kit, and a couple of eye makeup remover wipes. In this, con this section here, I have tissues, Clorox wipes, which we will also use, men's and women's razors, and I have um, Cottonelle wipes for my son. He likes to use the soft wipes. Down here, I have two travel size deodorants for myself, and my husband's is in the back, you can't see it, floss, toothpaste, and toothbrushes. So this is my hanging toiletry bag. This hangs on either the towel rack in your cruise stateroom, or alternatively, this can be hung on the back of your door. If you have a robe hanger, you can hang it with this little guy on the back of the door. We do have some really great um, toiletry bags in our store that have magnetic hooks that are really, really cool, but I tend to love my Adrian Vittadini. It is actually starting to get kind of old, but you know how it is when you have a favorite and you don't want to spend the money. So this is what's happening. All right, so toiletries continued, guys. I'm not flying, again, this is a driving to port cruise, but I am using quart size bags to transport, but not for TSA purposes. So this little Ziploc bag right here has some of my stuff in it. I might thin this out a little bit before the cruise, but for purposes of this video, I wanted to show you everything I'm probably going to pack. I'm actually gonna open it and show you, since that's what we promised, we promised detail. Most of the things in this bag have come from beauty boxes, you guys. They have come from my monthly subscription boxes that I love. First thing is the Luxury Scent Box new fragrance that I received to review. You guys will remember we did a video review of Luxury Scent Box. This is the coolest thing ever. It's a subscription. We have a discount in the description below, 35% off your first subscription, and I've actually fallen in love with this product. They're sending me some more citrusy smells to go with my taste, but for now, I just wanna show you how it works. You twist it, and the fragrance pops up, so it's already safe for travel, it's not gonna leak. And when you wanna replace, you just pull this out and you put your new one into the canister. It's the coolest thing ever. So I'm really grooving on luxury scent box, so this will be my fragrance for this cruise. Um, I have a small bottle of Neutrogena Sesame Body Oil that I bought at Target in the sample bins. My skin gets really dry, so this is gonna go on my legs and arms and things like for formal night, just to look a little more alive and a little less dried out and ashy. I have some shampoo and conditioners. These all came in beauty boxes. So a variety of shampoos and conditioners. I have my Bobbi Brown Beach Shower Gel. This is my favorite scent of all time. And this can be purchased at Nordstrom. I don't know if Sephora sells it, but I know Nordstrom does. I have my self-tanner in a travel on goop bottle because I don't need to take a whole lot of self-tanner, but you can see it's all brown and kind of gross. But this will be applied like the night before. When we drive down in our pre-cruise hotel, I'll put my self-tanner on the night before I get on the cruise. So I look tan from day one, right? I have some facial wash from Clinique. This is a sample size from one of my samples, probably like a gift with purchase. Same thing with my Clinique eye makeup remover. This is probably a gift with purchase. So I'll take cotton balls to do that. And then I have a shampoo and conditioner from Acura from one one of my beauty boxes. So this is toiletry bag number one. Last thing I didn't show you is one more cleanser from La Roche Posay. So this is a makeup removing kind of a cleanser. Okay, yes, Shanna, we pretty much do all share one toiletry bag. My husband's toiletries consist of a toothbrush and deodorant. And then I put sunscreen on him. He is super low maintenance. He doesn't really need anything else. And pretty much all we're, pretty much all we're doing, okay. Toiletry bag number two has the teeny, teeny, tiny little samples in it that I have been quote unquote hoarding <laughs> for months from my beauty boxes that I really wanna try on a cruise. And this helps me to keep the weight of my bag down. And it also allows me an opportunity to try new products. There's a gazillion things in here, but I'm gonna try to go quickly through them. How are we doing on questions? Right, I'm ready. 
All right, let's go back to one from Kelly. Kelly. How many bags do you recommend for a seven-day cruise for my husband and me? Sure, Kelly, it depends on if you're driving or flying. If you're driving, I suggest, I mean, excuse me, if you're driving, I suggest one carry-on type rolling bag and a large bag that the two of you share. If you are flying, I highly recommend giving it a try to do carry-on only. We have a series of packing videos where we went for it with carry-on only and it was a blast. We felt liberated, we felt super accomplished when we did it and it can be done. Now, full disclosure, our son's carry-on bag was filled with very little stuff because he's so tiny, so we actually used a little bit of his carry-on bag space, but hey, we did it and it was awesome. So if you want more details about that, message me later. I'd be happy to go into more detail. Michael would like to know if there's an adult version of the face stick. The oh, stick. Michael, yes, there is an adult version of the face stick. It is yellow and it is also from Neutrogena. So it's not wet skin kids, but you can find it at any drugstore. Yeah, and we'll, pop, we'll try to pop that in the shop for you too. I don't remember exactly if it's a sport, like Neutrogena sport or what it is, but they're wonderful. The facial sticks are really great if you're getting in and out of the ocean too, and it helps to keep it out of your eyes. Kathy and Gate Girl and a few others would like more information about the wipes and sure. is it in our store yes. with the name? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so the norovirus killing wipes are in our store. They are called, the, the funny thing is they don't really have a, a name. They're called Clorox Healthcare Hydrogen Peroxide cleaner disinfectant wipes. I will make sure that they that they are still in the store, but I do believe you're gonna have to scroll down a little bit to find them. This is an expensive bucket, but you've got 95 wipes in it, and you only need 10 or 20 wipes per cruise, so keep it, I keep it in a Ziploc, or not a Ziploc, but the bag that it came in, I keep it stored inside the bag in my closet so that it doesn't dehydrate, and it's been fine. But you can see that there's a giant, giant roll in here. We'll make sure that you get this too. I might try to link to it in the comments. A lot of times what we'll do is after the stream, when we get questions, we'll link to stuff in a comment and we'll pin the comment to the top. So I'll try to do that for you. But yeah, these are really great. Um, hope that's a good, a good one for you. And while we're on the topic, I do want to let you know that we also use these wipes, which are definitely also on our Amazon store. And they are just the best. They're alcohol based. Um, and so you're really gonna feel like you're getting your hands clean. We do not like to use sanitizing gels. We only use wipes, so I always buy a box of 100, and then these are gonna transition into a baggie as well. But for now, I wanted to show you the box. These are the best. They're a little bit harsh, so we're careful about when we use them on my um, son's skin. We use it only on the, you know, the fingertips, and then we try to wash his hands in the stateroom with hot soapy water with that, and that's a little bit better. Super chat from Momo. Thank oh, you so much. Super chat from Mama 4 IL. Thank you so much, Mama 4. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it so much. You guys want to see the teeny tiny toiletries? Nope. Mr. Cruz TV is giving me something. I've got them queued up. T. Edwards okay. had a question about Carnival changing their policy on bottled water. And I think a lot of people have answered it. But if mm. you want to do a quick follow up, I didn't know that Carnival changed their policy on bottled water. You mean a while ago? Yeah. You can't take plastic bottles anymore on Carnival, but the nice thing is that they allow you to purchase it for really cheap in your stateroom. I think I paid $3.49 for a 12-pack of wa bottled water, and that's not bad. Comparatively speaking to the other lines, that is a steal. So you cannot take plastic. You can only take cans on Carnival or carton. So you can't really take plastic water bottles. Adrian is going on her first cruise on Carnival in Carnival. Adrian. In May, yes, okay. on uh. Carnival, and would like to know if they um, measure the bags um, because it says yeah. that bags cannot be 16 inches high by 24 inches. Carnival? If Carnival measures the bags? Yeah, Adrian, I don't think that the cruise lines do measure your bags. I really don't. I have seen people no, packing never. the hugest suitcases I've ever seen in my life. It is nothing like flying. They're way more liberal with what they'll allow. So. One last question from Sydney. Do you have my um, shaving gear stuff there? Are you oh no, I forgot my husband's shaving cream. He, want, he would like to know, so it's, it's sure. pretty basic. My husband uses the Edge shaving gel that you can get in the Target sample bins with the orange lid. Oh my gosh, we need to pack that. Mm -hmm. Make a mental note. I always forget his shaving cream, you guys, until the last minute. Or maybe I should grow one of those big, long, you know, I know you can have a bee beard his razor is in here whoever asked that question I will pull the razor Sydney. out Sydney, huh? Sydney. hi Sydney uh oh I don't see the razor I know it's in there I just saw it a minute ago 
Am I going on this cruise? You're going on this cruise, sweetheart, but you're so low maintenance. Anyway, yeah, it's in there. I don't know where it is, but the razor he uses, Sydney, is from a Target men's toiletry box, which is hilarious because he had this really expensive Gillette Mach 3 that he was using for years, but the blades were ridiculous. And we got this, this toiletry box from Target, and it was like, wow, I'm switching razors, and it's not even a really expensive one. Yes, Laura, I do not use gel. I only use wipes. Um, Claire Lynch wants to know what color lip scents I'm wearing. I'd be happy to share that with you. I am today wearing Fleur de Lisa. It is a newer shade for me and I absolutely love it. Tell me what you think of it. I love it. Claire, it's so pretty. It's like light and a really nice everyday pink, but then it has this peachy tint to it. So when I'm not feeling super wild, I, I like to wear this one. I like pink ice a lot too, but that one can look a little 80s. Speaking of 80s, I have a surprise for you guys today, so I'll tell you in a few minutes. Okay, back to toiletries, Mr. Chris Subsevier. Are we okay? Woohoo! Let's do this. How many people are in the chat, by the way? 227 people. That is awesome. Thank you guys for doing this for us on Good Friday, for joining us. We're so happy. Okay, a couple of small little bars of soap that I've saved from um, my travels. I know this one came from like a Hampton Inn when I was traveling for business. And then this is a little Tom's soap that I got in a beauty box. See how you can use your beauty boxes for a cruise, you guys? I'm telling you, it's the coolest thing. And then I have literally a gazillion tiny samples in here. One of my favorite products that I, I'm going to absolutely be devastated when I run out of from a beauty box is the Organic Pharmacy's Lip and Eye Cream. This stuff is unreal. It has been on several cruises with me and it's still going strong. I cannot live without it. Same brand, Organic Pharmacy Double Rose Rejuvenating Cream, wonderful night cream. This is a Andalou Naturals Night Repair Cream. I'm gonna go through these fast, you guys, because there's so much stuff in this little bag. And I might, like I said, I might thin this out. This is a, a primer, um, a Radiant Skin Primer from IPKN. A lot of you on this channel have been encouraging me to use primer, so on my cruise, I'm gonna try it. This is from my Amazon Luxury Sun Box. This is a little tiny sunscreen from the Amazon Luxury Sun Box, which is in our store. I feel like I've said in our store 50 times, you guys. Please don't be annoyed. Um, I am not trying to push everyone to shop there. It's just that we put our favorite stuff there if they have it. This is a uh, number seven early defense glow activating serum, which I'm excited to try. This is a teeny tiny shampoo from um, Furterer, Lumicia it's called. This is a Smashbox um, photo finish radiance primer. Alex, thank you so much for the super chat. This is another um, sun product that I got in my Amazon luxury sun box. Wonderful value for $19.99 and then you get to spend that money that you spent on the beauty box in a full size product or towards a full size product. So we'll make sure that we have that in our store. I have, oh my goodness, so much stuff. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I have a daily skin hydrator from SPF RX. I have an eye wonder eye cream. I have a super goop sunscreen. I'm gonna be a busy girl on this cruise. And three more teeny tiny things. Another La Roche Posay SPF 60 from my beauty box, the Amazon um, Sun Care one. This wonderful Thousand Roses beautiful day cream here. This is a really nice smelling day cream if you don't need sunscreen and a Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel. All of this stuff has come from beauty boxes and it is going to get a go. What do you think, Mr. Kristen TV? Does this give you anxiety? Like why does she need all this stuff? No, he's like, no honey, not at all. He's a smart man. Whatever you want, he said. So anyway, um, that's, that rounds out, for the most part, the producty side of things. Now I'd like to show you a lot of the gear that we're gonna be packing. Any questions that we need to answer? Oh, Bonnie, thank you so much for the super chat. We really appreciate it. And I love that Bubba has his own Facebook page now. That's really funny. Okay, how we doing? Thank you for say hey for reminding everybody to like this video. Please do like it guys and please don't forget to subscribe. We would love it if you would do that because when you subscribe it really helps our channel to grow and you can turn on notifications and get alerts when we're doing fun stuff like this. So yeah. Okay, Nadia that water gel is good. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to our next item. So I think we've got everything covered on this side of the room. So I'm gonna move it all over. How do you guys like this set? This is where we're gonna be doing our pack with me on April 7th, um, where we talk about all of our, um, we're gonna pack more of my clothes and I'm gonna show you how things go into the suitcase. So you're gonna be seeing a repeat of a lot of these things with a lot less detail, but how do you like it? Kinda cool. 
Um, also wanted to show you guys another new gear item that I got. This is a gift from Bethany, who I think is in the chat. Bethany Meyer, my lip sense rep, gifted me with this beautiful um, little cell phone. Oh God, you guys, I forgot what it's called. What is my little thing called, honey? Do you know? Do you remember what this is called? Oh my gosh, a pop socket. It's called a pop socket. And um, it goes on the back of your phone. Now, I, when I got it, I was like, oh no, Bethany, I have a really textured phone case. Well, you guys, if it's fine. It sticks right onto my phone case. I've moved it twice and the stickiness is crazy and it's adjustable. So these are adorable and they come in all kinds of cute little nautical looks. If you're interested, they are in our Amazon store. I'm sorry, I said it again, but they are, they're there and they're very cute. Okay, so let's see here. I think I saw a question. A oh, Lush Bars for shampoo and deodorant. What a great idea, AZ girl. Thank you for that. Let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, huh, John said, after you, have, after you put on all the creams, do you have time to do anything else on the cruise? John, you would think I didn't because this is crazy, right? No, I'm just packing a little bit more... Um, I'm just not as concerned about packing light, so I probably won't use everything, but I, I like to have the opportunity to sample a lot of the products that we receive throughout the year in our beauty boxes. So I know it's a little extreme and I totally recognize that. Thank you so much, Brooke, for the super chat. Really appreciate you all the time, by the way. Uh-oh, what are Mike and Cheryl saying about the trolls? Do we have trolls? No. Oh my gosh, Leslie, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. Yay. Congratulations on your second cruise in October. Okay, you guys want to see some gear? I'm going to move my computer just a wee bit and we're going to talk about some fun things that I'm taking. This stuff will probably not go in my backpack because it won't fit. This will probably go partially in my um, suitcase and partially in my carry-on. This is what I call my cruise utility bag because I don't know what else to call it. And I'm going to try to make a little bit of room here so that you guys can see better and set some things out. But there is a ton of stuff in this bag, so we're going to go into great detail. Okay. First thing in this bag is my little pop-up hamper. A lot of you ask where I got this, and unfortunately, I can't get it for you in um, in a link form because it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. I can't find them there anymore either, but these pop-up hampers are great, and it stores into this little pouch that's like, it becomes a side pouch. So always take a pop-up hamper on your cruise if you wanna keep your laundry separated. We also have this non-surge power strip that we take. Please be very careful about what type of power strip that you take on your cruise and make sure that it is non-surge. This one, um, is very, very old, but it has served us well. The brand is Valtech, and it's just nice because there's obviously very limited outlets in a cruise. Um, next up, I have apparently a spare set of headphones that I don't need that I need to take out. That's really funny. I don't know how those got in there. And then I have one of my new favorite obsessions, which is the Bandabo Towel Tamer. We have a full video on this product here in our um, on cruise gear, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. So I will be taking it on its first cruise and putting it to, to a test on an actual beach chair, pool chair, and I'll take pictures for you guys and I'll post them on Instagram. So make sure you are following us on Instagram and Facebook. We do a lot of fun stuff over there. These are my super strong magnets that are almost impossible to separate when they are like this. So for right now, I can't even separate them without messing up my nails. So I'm probably not gonna do it. Oh, yep, there we go. So these are hung on the wall and we make a grab and go station by our door. Remember that the walls in your cruise ship stateroom are magnetic. Whoa, that was really loud. Um, they just slam back together. So we put, we make a grab and go station with our stateroom keys on a lanyard, my son's sweatshirt, my beach bag. Yes, these hold a beach bag. My husband's hat, a variety of different things. So these are essential and these are in our store, of course. We also have a couple of lanyards here to put our cruise, um, our uh, room keys on our stateroom cards, but remember that now Princess, I think Bonnie had told me the other day that Princess no longer allows you to punch a hole in your stateroom card, so you're gonna need more of a pouch style. Don't worry about buying this stuff before you cruise, you guys. You can get it in the gift shop when you cruise. A few other things that I have, I know this is really weird, but I do pack a couple of Sharpies. This is for a number of reasons. I use Sharpies to leave notes for our stateroom store, uh, steward on those sticky notes that you saw, but also when we interview staff, this is kind of a funny thing, but when we interview staff on board, a lot of times I don't decide what questions I wanna ask them until I meet them the first time. 
and I learn a little bit about them and get to know their personality or maybe what's exciting on the ship. So I actually write my interview questions on index cards and I take handwritten interview questions to the interview. So these come in handy and I can write in really big letters so I'm not like constantly glancing down at my interview notes. So that's kind of a fun little thing. This is our new little stateroom clock. This guy is so cute. He's got like kind of a wood finish and since there's no clocks in most staterooms, he's coming along. I still miss our old stateroom clock that was faithful to our family for over 17 years, but he passed away. I'm sure you all saw the memorial service we had for him on our other channel. Um, I also take a highlighter pen for highlighting our newsletter and um, picking the things that we want to do the night before when we get the newsletter. So this is a wonderful thing to have. We also like to take a couple of clothes pins. These can be used for shutting your curtains to keep out light. If you're having um, maybe wanting to sleep in a little and you've got curtains that open because the ship is rocking, you can close the curtains with these or you can use them to hang laundry in the shower on your clothesline. So those are kind of handy to have. I also like to take a carabiner with me to hang on the backpack. This will go on the outside of our backpack and can hang anything from like a, you know, sunglasses to whatever that you need to hang. And then I have my favorite magnet. My new magnet this year is from the White Pass and Yukon route in Alaska. Good memories from that day. So I have a little sentimental magnet that's going with me. So that is my stateroom utility bag, everybody. And instead of repacking it, I'm just going to move on to my next little packing cube. As you can see, I have everything in a packing cube here, but it's probably not going to stay this way. I did that for display purposes today, um, and we're just going to show you what's inside. So in this bag, I have a pretty beach bag that, of course, I can't find anymore. This is from TJ Maxx, and they're gone now, but they're beautiful. It's gorgeous. And this is a great shoulder bag for beach days or mornings at the pool. I have a sleep mask because I'm a very light, sensitive sleeper. This particular mask is Bucky. Bucky um, masks are kind of unique in that they are they do not go up close to your eyes. They there's some space between the mask and your eyes, and this is actually a good thing because I will have lash extensions for this cruise, and I cannot have anything pressing up against my lashes. So I have to use a Bucky. It is not my favorite mask for comfort, but it is necessary for that. I have a hairbrush. I have my jewelry roll, which is not yet packed because our cruise is not quite happening just yet, but this will have all of my necklaces, earrings, Pyravita bracelets, and any other jewelry inside of it. These are wonderful. You can get them at discount stores too all the time in the travel section. I have my Wander Wet Bags Wet Swimsuit Bag. These are amazing. You can get them at wanderwetbags.com. If we do get another discount code for these, I will let you know, but this is a large size, and this can accommodate my entire family's wet swimsuits and it will protect your bag from the wet swimsuit. So the swimsuits stay nicely in it. It's also gorgeous, by the way, and I use this for other purposes too, like as a purse, because it is so incredibly pretty. I will also be taking a couple of pairs of sunglasses because I'm not packing light. I will be taking at least two pair of sunglasses on this cruise because I have really sensitive eyes. So I will be taking my favorite Ray-Bans, which are available in our Amazon store. These are so pretty, but they do also carry them at Macy's. And if you have a Macy's card, sunglasses hut in Macy's sells them and they do get coupons occasionally so watch for that and I will also be packing these gorgeous movement glasses that I love we have a movement discount code in the description below make sure that you check that out if you want to get something at mvmt.com but these are super pretty and sleek looking and I'm going to take those at least so that's that little utility bag there I'm going to move this one how are we doing Mr. Cruise Tips TV any questions piling up want to answer a couple Okay, I'm ready. Okay, just one moment. All right, Mr. Chris Tips TV is checking the focus and everything. No, the, I have to turn my mic on. Oh, you had to turn your mic on? Yeah, that's I, right. Okay, I that's right. turn it off, stop the echo. Yeah, this is a bit of an echoey area we're in in our, in our set, you guys, so bear with us if you're sensing more of an echo today. I'm ready. So Cindy would like to know, is it okay to take super strong magnets on a plane? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take super strong magnets on a plane, no problem. Kelly says, I hear you say cruise time and port time. What oh, does that mean? Yeah. So sometimes, is that, who was that, Cindy? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, sometimes the ship time is different from the port time. If you're going through an area where you're passing through different time zones, the ships, generally speaking, will change their clocks to match whatever port time you're going to. But in our experience, that has not always been the case. And sometimes there's a discrepancy. For example, sometimes when we go to Puerto Vallarta in Mexico, Puerto Vallarta will remain one hour ahead of ship time. So you really need to be careful 
You might want to wear a traditional wristwatch that doesn't have any digital influence because you really need to know what time it is on the ship because the ship is going to leave on their own time. Okay, um, Meredith wants to know if over the door organizers are still allowed. If they don't damage the door, they are, but with the problem with them and the reason we stopped taking them is because we found that a lot of doors, they don't work on the doors anymore. The door won't shut. And they don't like the metal ones because the metal can destroy the it top of the door, the scratch the door, and you could be charged. So we've just stopped using those and we just use our shelves and things like that. I'm ready. My Marshall. What does your clothesline look like? Now, oh. I'm not sure what that means. <clears throat> My Marshall, I don't take a clothesline, but sometimes in the showers on cruise ships, they have a, a hotel style cruise line that is um, one of those standard little pull wires. So that on one side of the shower, you'll have um, kind of a line dispenser and then you'll pull the line out and you'll attach it to the other side of the shower for a makeshift, sh for a makeshift clothesline. Any more? Rhonda Davis, how long did it take you to get your lash extensions put on? I'm oh, thinking of doing it. Oh my gosh, they take forever and I'm not a patient person. My lash extensions last time took an hour and a half. They've all fallen out. I got classic single lashes last time and I'm gonna get a volume set um, in a few weeks here and uh, it should take up to two hours. They say about an hour and a half. It's a long process. So if you can try to just really Think of ways to relax. Usually your esthetician will kind of talk you through it and keep you busy. And it goes by pretty darn fast, but it's actually, if you can relax into it, you'll probably enjoy it. Dot com mom, um, I think you're asking about the, the surge protector. It's a non-surge power strip. Okay, let's see. Um, Mike and Cheryl, question about Mexico. Any reason why cruise ships are no longer going to Acapulco used to be huge? Yeah, Mike and Cheryl, they had a lot of security concerns, public security concerns, but Acapulco is, is back and there are ships going there again. Not all of the, the um, major cruise lines are going back because it's a little bit more out of the way and there are, they're still ironing things out. But at Sea Trade Global, the conference I was at, um, Acapulco was there represented and they're really working hard to try to get the ships to come back. So I think you're gonna see a resurgence in Acapulco. Kelly, I tried the magnetic lashes and I can't get, I can't even get them to work. I cannot get them in the right place on my eye. I don't know what it is, but I, I cannot get it to work. Um, Mellow Bulldog, my lashes are extremely um, short and sparse, so it's difficult for me to get mascara to do much. Okay, let's finish up, you guys, with the remaining stuff. I have another packing cube here with a few other things in it. Again, I'm not sure where these things are going to land. One of my new favorite obsessions is this clean canteen. I put my morning coffee in it for my morning commute every day, and it stays hot all day. I probably would stay hot for 24 hours. It's crazy, but it also can be used for cool beverages. This particular one is vacuum insulated, and I think this is the 16 ounce variety. I linked to these in the description below because they have been very much um, a popularly requested item, so it is in the description. They do sell them on Amazon. And this one has the kind of the cafe lid, and this is the inside of it, insulated. And one thing I love about this one is you don't get the metallic taste. I'm very selective about the types of cups I'll use for hot coffee. So that's that. Um, next up, I have my laundry pack. This has a variety of things in it. I'm gonna show it to you. I have a little plastic baggie filled with three Tide Pods in the event that I wanna do laundry on the ship. Tide Pods are great. I have a Tide stain stick, and I also have some Shout Wipes. So this is my laundry pack. Most cruise ships these days, if they do offer laundry, which not all of them do, but Carnival and Princess do, they will have machines in them where you swipe with your cruise card to buy these items if you don't wanna take them because I'm traveling on a budget. We always try to save money where we can. I'm gonna pack my own stuff. And you're also gonna buy tokens for the washer and dryer there, okay. No, Lindsay, I don't think NCL has restrictions for luggage and size and weight and things. You should be way more worried about the, um, the flight. And yes, Claire, I will absolutely um, post a link for Wander Wet Bags, but I can tell you it's wanderwetbags.com. Okay, great. Oh, thanks, Bethany. I never heard about the Cenogen's Lash Extend Treatment. I, that's awesome. Thank you for that. Um, Rana, I've never had a liquid explode in my checked bags, um, but the best way that you can prevent that is you can take the air out of the um, item before you cruise. So if it's, say, for example, it's like a 
a tube of sunscreen, you would open the lid, release the air, and put the lid back on so that there's less chance of expansion. Um, everybody, this is my what I call my hair bag. In my hair bag, <laughs> it's kind of weird that I keep my hair stuff separate, but I do. I have my little mini size Moroccan oil, which you can see is all dinged up. This is my favorite hair product. This goes in my hair wet. And I have a smoothing um, balm by Jouer. This is a birch box product. It's absolutely wonderful. I love it. These are the only two hair products I plan on using on this cruise. I also have, ooh, sorry, that was really loud. I have a mini comb that I use when I'm curling my hair. I have a tiny bag of bobby pins and hair bands. And then I have the good old purple color stuff that you guys saw in my last gear unboxing, my Target unboxing. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna come out on the 80s deck party night on our Carnival Splendor cruise. So speaking of the 80s deck party, my husband bought me a present, which I'm not gonna open, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit. There will be accessories. I lost a dare or a bet or whatever you want to call it on our one of our um, live streams where if we got 500 likes, we were going to vlog the 80s deck party. Well, we're taking it to the next level, and this is some fun 80s accessories. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to make you guys watch the vlog, but this is going to be funny. Wait until you see it. I love the 80s, so I'm perfectly comfortable with this whole concept, but we're going to take it to the next level. What do you guys think? Should I wear this dress on for the 80s deck party or is it just a little too wild? It's not very 80s. All right, some other items that we're taking because there's so much stuff, you guys. This is the compression bag that our pillows will go into and my husband will probably just roll it instead of packing the pump, maybe, because we don't need it to be super, super compressed because we are driving and we don't have to worry about how much luggage we take. But this is what the compression bags look like for our pillows. They're about that big. Pretty big, really. So my son doesn't take his pillow or anything, just my husband and I, so that's that. And then the last item, I believe we've gone through everything else, the last item I wanna show you guys today before we just open it up to general chat is I got my son a little pair of swim fins. One of the excursions that we're doing in Cabo San Lucas is called an Aqua Trio Adventure. And um, it's gonna be snorkeling, power snorkeling with some kind of a motorized thing in front of you. Let me know if any of you guys have ever done power snorkeling and stand up paddle boarding and kayaking, so I wanted my son to have his own fins. When he swims at the YMCA pool, he loves to use his own fins, or the fins that are there, and so we just bought him a pair on Amazon. They were only 20 bucks, it was really nice. So you guys, that was all of it. I know, I know I'm forgetting something. I have that sinking feeling, obviously. We determined today that I forgot my husband's shaving cream. Thank you, Michael, I think that was Michael. Um, and yeah. So let's jump in the chat and see you guys. <laughs> Tammy said I should definitely wear this dress. Mike and Cheryl said, Disco Sherry, you go girl. I don't know, I don't know. Disco is not so much my era, but I do like 80s new wave quite a bit. But we're gonna have some fun at that party and we're gonna, we're gonna show you guys. Yeah, dot com mom can't wait for the 80s vlog. We're gonna have to edit fast when we get home from this cruise, Mr. Cruise Sims TV. Is there, I'm gonna be getting a lot of pressure to show that one off, right? <laughs> Oh, okay, Rana Davis has a tip, guys. An empty Tic Tac container is a great um, place for bobby pins. What an awesome idea. I love that. Thank you for that. Um, Kelly said, how far do excursions open to be booked? Every cruise line's a little different, but sometimes it can, they can be open as early as six to nine months or more, or some of them open 60 days before. It's really, really... Um, Variable. Catherine said, any recommendations for a non-transparent waterproof neck pouch? They're really hard to find, Catherine. I think we have a few in our Amazon store, but I'll double check and make sure they didn't sell out, but they're really hard to find, so I'll try to find some for you. I, need, I should have been making a list today of all the things we need to do. Thank you, Katie, for the tip on rinsing the fins. Thank you. Lots of eyeliner. Mike and Cheryl, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, questions. I have three questions that okay. from a while ago. Elisa okay. Garcia, do you ever notice if security go through your packing bags from your check-in luggage? Do they go through? Yeah, I've had security go through my bags at, at, um, at um, on embarkation, my carry-on bags, because of the soda. They wanted to inspect it. They inspected soda one can by, yeah, they opened and looked at each can to make sure I wasn't smuggling something like beer. So they sometimes do inspect. Normally though, no. I've had it happen twice out of 28 cruises. So it's hit and miss, but if, if they're feeling like, if they've been having smuggling issues, then maybe. I'm ready. 
Jamie and Melendez, how far in advance do you guys book your cruises typically? Ah, uh, it varies a lot. I've had them booked out a year and a half in advance and we booked them two months in advance. It's all over the road. Yeah. Ms. Color Gray, how do you know if there's a special day on your cruise, like a deck party? Google it. No, look at the, look for the, um, the newsletters, right? Well, you look in the newsletters, but what she's saying is before the cruise, how do you know? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is that, and, and I was wondering the same thing, you can join Roll calls on cruiseline.com, roll calls on Facebook are great and people often will talk about those things. But what you can do is like Google something like Carnival Splendor Deck Party or Carnival Deck Party. And then usually without fail, someone has uploaded a photo of what the deck party schedule for that cruise line. Carnival has a set party outline where they have like a Mexican themed deck party, an 80s one, and it, it's the same across the fleet. So um, and another example of that would be Norwegian has white hot nights that are amazing where everybody wears white. So if you're going on Norwegian, just pack white clothes and you know you're going to be wearing them. But Google it you and so you'll awesome. find them. Such a great answer. Yeah. I shouldn't have Google it. Tried. I shouldn't Sorry. have tried to answer it. I mean, it's kind of what you have to do, though, because it varies a little bit. But looking on forums is just as good and searching the forums there or posting a question in a forum on a cruise message board and then let people kind of respond. You are like our most valued employee here. I am? Yes. I'd like a raise. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny, just kidding. Um, life is good today, what kind of pillows are you guys using? I, we just bought new pillows at Costco. Um, oh gosh, I wanna try to remember, but they, they're they the same pillows, they're, they're kind of a feather down, they come in a two pack, they're probably about 30 bucks for two and they have them at Costco everywhere. I wanna catch up with questions. Um, Okay, I, dot com mom, I don't have a travel leak proof spray bottle, but um, I will let you know if I see any. I know that's a hard thing to trust too. You know what I mean? Um, okay, let's see here. Lindsay Ramsdale said, I don't wear makeup, but would like to have some for the cruise. What do you suggest I purchase? Lindsay, I don't know if you mean like foundation or all of the makeup in general. I use a combination of brands. I use a Neutrogena, um, foundation, I use a Neutrogena concealer, but then I use probably 10 or 20 different brands of all different types of makeup. So what I suggest that you do is watch my Get Ready With Me videos from our last cruise when we were in Alaska. It's here on this channel and you can see all the different makeup that I wore, but if anyone wants to weigh in on their favorite makeup brands here, I'm a big fan of LipSense for my lip color. It's exclusively what I wear and um, LipSense and Senegens, the parent company of LipSense, makes all kinds of makeup and it's a wonderful brand. And Bethany's here if you're interested in getting connected with her. She is a Senegens distributor. So yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Rebecca loves those pillows from Costco. Mm-hmm. They're really great. Let's see, Ollie Ree said, do all the Western Caribbean ports use US currency? Most of the time they are accepted, yes. Okay, Nadia is recommending for the makeup question that you start out with a tinted moisturizer. Very, very good tip. Okay, I wanna make sure I haven't missed any questions because we, have, we should have plenty of bandwidth to get through your questions today, guys. So let's see, we have two more minutes before we log out. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. Love it. Mini, um, anything you can think of, Mr. Crystal TV, that I might have missed? If I've missed your question and you'd like to type it now, guys, go for it. Suzy Q is recommending It Cosmetics. Yes, wonderful brand. One of my favorite products is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It is a very hardcore concealer, and I'm very fond of it. It's excellent. Okay, what is all this talk about duct tape? All right, Rory D. Karkoff is saying, Trustique set is all in stick form. Add it to your, you add your favorite mascara. Oh, that's a great tip. Very cool. Um, Tommy said, any suggestions for carrying a cruise card instead of a lanyard? You don't like to wear anything around your neck. Absolutely, I have suggestions for you. Um, you can simply put it in your pocket if you would like. You can put it in your wallet if you would like. Um, other than that, I think for... Tommy, for generally, you could put it in your day bag. I can't think of anything other than a lanyard that would kind of keep it away from your pockets, but there's no reason why you can't just pop it in your wallet if you wanted to carry your wallet around. I might suggest buying some shorts with a, um, with a back pocket that either zips or buttons closed so that you're not gonna lose it. 
Okay. Um, Ed Paws said, oh yeah, what do you do for money pesos? Do you get that before or are you using dollars in Mexico? We're totally using dollars in Mexico, Ed. Sometimes they're going to give you change in pesos and that's just fine because then you can use it again in Mexico if you'd like. But be very careful about the exchange rate. Connor, no, I'm so sorry. I haven't been on uh, Allure of the Seas just yet. Rana Davis is recommending Badger as a great tinted um, sunscreen for the face. Um, okay, let's see here. Becky said she uses a small purse to hold the cards sometimes. Phone cases that hold cards are great instead of lanyards. Thank you so much for that, Mellow Bulldog. Excellent idea. They have those phone cases now that hold cards. That's a beautiful idea. Be careful though because um, sometimes your cell phone demagnetizes your cruise card, so make sure that there's something on the um, on that wallet that protects the card from the phone. Okay. Looking for last minute questions to see if we have any. Okay, I think we're doing okay here, you guys. Hope that this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the stuff inside of our toiletry bags. We're gonna be showing our clothing or my clothing. I'm not sure if we're gonna do my husband and son's. Um, uh, on April 7th at 2 p.m. Pacific time, so that's 5 p.m. Eastern time. And what we're gonna do is we're going to be in the same area. I think I'm gonna bring a hanging rack in to show all of my dresses, and then I'm gonna have my suitcases and packing cubes out. And we're gonna to try to do as much packing the actual suitcases we can, because I've had requests for not just showing the stuff, but actually putting it into the suitcases. Becky Palmer, Bethany can be contacted on her Facebook um, page. It's called Feathers and Anchors Beauty, but I will um, link to it in the comments after the live stream saves to replay as well. If you're getting ready to close up, yeah. I want to try something really quick. Sure. Now, if this goes south, apologies okay. to everyone. But we had so many super chats that I quickly tried to do something in the background. Ooh. So I'm going to try and put that up. And it's it's nothing special. You have a I surprise really for the super chatters? Thank you Aww. to everyone. And there we go. I can't so see it, but tell me what it looks like. It's, it's just all the names. Aww. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much, Super Chatters. Mr. Cruise Tips TV really wanted to recognize you and thank you for that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us at this odd time. I hope it worked for all of you. To those of you who are new, we hope you enjoyed this concept. To those of you who are always here with us, we love you guys so much and appreciate your loyalty and your help answering questions here. If I have missed you, um, if you missed a question, you can always just message me here on YouTube, or you can join us over on Facebook. I'm really responsive to messages on Facebook. It's a little easier than YouTube, um, but follow us on social media, guys. Make sure you're checking us out on Instagram and Facebook because we have a blast. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Bye-bye. First mate of the week. Uh -huh.